I ask myself another question. It's a spirit journey. Friday, November 8, 2019. And the time is approximately 7.21 a.m. And yes, I'm in the shower. Question. What is money? What is money? Now, I made mention in the prior audio that the archons, the people from, or the energies from Orion, created money or uses money to entice people into Hollywood so they can perform. And again, that performance, whether you're watching it or actually doing it, the brain doesn't know any difference, and it creates an energy. And I made mention that a lot of these pitches in Hollywood, it's either about killing, violence, or sex or combination of the two. And you're watching these movies on a silver screen, and I mentioned that silver is the highest conductor of electricity, and that it absorbs, it can bring on and be used to send that energy, your energy that's being uh, created or generated and harvested somewhere else. Now, I don't know where it's harvested. That would be very interesting to explore. But I was thinking about how the money is such an enticement. It's like really selling your soul, selling your, your own children to death, selling them into slavery for some trinkets. And so they want to reward that behavior and pay you all this money. Don't you notice also the people who are in Hollywood, these actors that lately, because I guess social media is exposing a lot of stuff, that they seem to be getting a meltdown, a mental breakdown. Even the musicians, singers, the same thing, in the same industry, they're all connected. They're all about creating a mood in the listener or the viewer, and then it's being harvested. Why, why even have it? Why have it? It's not like they're playing live music, somewhere that we all gather and sit down. No, it's done electronically. And these electronics, can be attached to databases, um, like batteries, and it being absorbed somewhere locally. And so I mentioned about the wars that are being created, generated. And again, when you have bloodbath of death, that these archons feed off of that. And you know, it's in some areas, the blood bath, the blood bath is constant. It's constantly being done. And you notice in the neighborhoods that where it's being done. And they're being done, it seems like, okay, I, I live in the uh, United States of America, in a major city, and they seem to always seem to occur in indigenous people Black people, to be more specific. Why? I think because we have the most energy. We have a pure energy. Pure, so to think of it like juice. We have more of the original formula for fuel because we are the indigenous people here. And so that's why they pick our fruit, so to speak, our bodies. Look at the slave trade in the Americas, chattel slavery. And again, it was started by certain people. 
by Semitic people. Arabs are Semitic. The conversos are Semitic. The conversos are the uh, people of Spain, the, the Jews of Spain and North Africa who are forced to convert to Catholicism. They don't stop being what they are. And the Bible is their manual, a blueprint of instructions. And it shares with you how some of these people in history had acquired, they enter into a land that's not there and then become sovereign over that land. And the people become their slaves. And they had to give their energy away. And I'm, I'm just thinking now with, with um, Genesis, initially the Hebrews were enslaved by the Egyptians. And I think that I think that incident that happened was their initiation that these archons address these uh, particular people, the Semitic people, or Hebrews as the Bible calls them, and makes a, an agreement. Says, I have an agreement with you. And they said yes. And I think that agreement is still being adhered to. And so again, uh, money. So there's a natural order of things bartering. You know, you have a book of matches and you got uh, lumber. Hey, you need both. It's a lot of fire and fuel for that fire. In exchange, we have at a desert soil where someone has water and you exchange. It's about equality a balance of sharing of necessities for basic livelihood. But this system has been hijacked. And so in history, you learn of these banking system in Europe and how they took over the other banks and that they have a monopoly over the banking system. And then you can have in U.S. history that it was, I think it was in the 1920s, in the United States of America, that a law was passed that you cannot have gold in your home. That the government was confiscating its citizens the right to own their gold, to have gold. So they confiscated it. And then also, this system, this new monopoly of currency, the currency is energy. Without it, it doesn't run things. It doesn't turn things on. But a new system of currency, this paper money, Paper could literally be, you know, grown on trees. Paper is made from trees. The wood of the tree, it's processed and rolled on in sheets. And then they put dyes in it and create the image that you see. And those images that's on money are sigils. So somehow these sigils that you see on the money and the energy behind that money. Because see, that money is supposed to represent your labor, your labor. And it's harnessing that energy. And it's produced. And God forbid, if you create your own paper money, if you created that money, you be arrested and jailed or put in prison for a very long time. See, they don't want you to have that power. But 
they took that initiative and took the power from you. And so now you live in a world where money is king, paper money, and people are panicking because now the system, the game, the monopoly game, is who can get the most money and what you'll be willing to do to get that money. And so some people work two, three jobs and burn out. Some people rob banks. But still, the, the, the intent is to have the individual exert energy. You don't see the animals out of nature exerting so much energy. They relax and maybe 95% of the time. But now, they want you to work maybe out of the day, 17, 18 hours of the day. And then just a little time of uh, free time. So again, you're running after money, exerting energy that's being harvested, and you notice with money, the color of money, and then the sigils are on our money. When you see like a circle and an image inside that circle, that is a sigil. And the sigils have intent behind it that gives it its power over you. Have you ever seen people get bewitched when they get money in their hands? Have you? We all have. And we all felt what it's like to have money in your hand and the lust that comes out from it. I'm thinking that those are the archives seducing you and absorbing your energy as you hold that money in your hand. Notice it the next time. So, an artificial system was introduced to humanity, controlled by certain families. The same type of families, historically, of people in the Bible, were told, who made an agreement with aliens, they call them angels or whatever, but these are aliens outside of your domain, your 3D world, they entered your world, and everything that's associated with those people and the Bible, it always results in massacre, a war. So this is a wake-up call about how the system got introduced, hijacked, and then a removal of the natural order, and then the insertion of money, paper money, that could be created by mass production, and it forces you to work, to work, to work, to get it, to burn you out, and all the things that you do to harvest it. But things, but see, if things were really fair, you'd be able to create your own money, grow your own money at home, but again, that's illegal. So what is it? Money is your imprisonment, and money is an illusion that was introduced to control you, like it's controlling Hollywood, and people being told to have their children be used in sex parties, or models, and get on TV, for money. Jeffrey Epstein, also a part of this phenomenon, getting people to give up their energy so they can have sex with a teenage girl, or maybe even a teenage boy in some circles, used to blackmail you so these archons could have more world dominion over you to control you 
See, everything I think is connected, interconnected with everything else. It's about dominion and control over the planet. And they'll use anybody, and they'll use any race, any gender to acquire their goals. This is just food for thought. Take care. And those of you who like this content, please feel free to donate to my PayPal Me account on my YouTube channel on the top right of the banner. You'll see the PayPal Me link. Just click on it and follow the prompt. Any amount would be appreciated. And you can also comment below and share this video with friends and family members. So take care. Thank you for listening. And thank you for supporting me. Bye-bye.